Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question binary tree right side view. In this question we are given a binary tree and we need to imagine ourselves standing on the right side of it and we need to return the value of the nodes that you see ordered from top to bottom. So in the first example as we can see that the tree is formed like this and when we see it from the right hand side we see only three values 1, 3 and 4 so we return 1, 3 and 4. So let's first understand how to approach this problem and what concept we need to apply in order to get the answer. So suppose uh, this is the tree given to us and when we see it from this right hand side we see these values and the result of this problem becomes 2897. One thing that we can notice from here is that it is the level 1 and then we have a level 2 and the rest of the 4 levels. The binary tree has 4 levels and from each level we need to obtain the last value. So as we can make out that this problem needs us to traverse this binary tree in the level order fashion, we are sure that we need to perform a level order traversal in this problem and get the result by obtaining the last value of that level. Now we will slightly modify the level order traversal and see the approach and to how to solve it both with iterative and recursive approach. So let's start coding that and see how we can solve this problem. So we'll first see the iterative approach. As we know in a level order traversal we usually have a queue in which we try to put the values and then pop it according to some of the conditions. So before doing that we'll have this integer list which will contain our result. Now we need to check if the root is null or not. If it is a null then we simply return this result which will be an empty list. Otherwise we need to first define a queue. We know that a queue is implemented using a linked list. So we have this linked list and we initially add the root node into this queue. Now we need to iterate till the size of this queue is greater than 0. We know that we need to have the size in this queue and now we need to loop for all the values that are present in the queue. So it will be count minus minus is greater than 0. We now need to remove the value from the queue. So we'll remove the value. We can take it as well and we remove the value from the queue. Once we remove this value, we need to check if this is the last value. If this is the last value, then the count will now become 0. In that case, this becomes the last value in a particular level, which is the result that we are seeking. So we will add this value into our result list. We will add the val. Otherwise, we need to put the left and right child nodes into this queue. And so we'll first check if the left is not equals to null so we put it into the queue and similarly for the right as well at the end we simply return the result list now let's run this code so it is successful let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time and space complexity in this approach is o of n now let's see how we can implement the same code using recursive approach. It can be a bit tricky at first because in recursive approaches we need to think about how the recursive calling should end. So we need to take care of the exit conditions. In the case of a recursive approach we do need a method that we will be calling recursively. So that means if we have a result list we need to have this result list either at the class level or be passed as the parameter. For simplicity, we will have it as a class level variable. Suppose we have a level order method which takes up the root and a value 0. The value 0 over here signifies the level at which we currently are. So currently we are at the 0th level. And at the end, we know that we need to return the result. So let's remove all this for now. Now we'll define this level order method which will initially be node 
and in is a level now if the root is null we won't go forward and we'll stop right here otherwise we need to call the method level order recursively for left and right childs now in this case we will be calling method on right first and the level will be incremented to 1 and then we will be calling the method on the left now there's a reason that we are calling the method on right first as compared to left we are doing this right first because if we see the example that we discussed previously we can either see it being the last node of any level or being the first node of any level only the difference is in the case that we are considering it to be the first node of the level we need to first go all the way on the right hand side rather than going the all the way to the left hand side so now the condition over here which makes the difference and add the value of the first value in this level is if the size of the result list is equals to the level this result dot size in the level signifies that the node that we are encountering right now is the first node of that particular level so in this case we just add the value of the node into this result list when we run this code so it runs successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time and space complexity in this case also is o of n now this question can have one more flavor that is the question might ask us to give the left side view in the left side view only we need to change the order of this to method calls and that will work for us thanks for watching the video see you in the next one